All right, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to the Caffeinated Traders Lounge. Today, I wanted to discuss trading news profitably, especially high impact news. All right, so a lot of people, you know, they don't even trade news. Um, a lot of gurus out there will say don't trade news. Um, even some prop firms don't even allow you to trade news because it kind of is a gamble. And I wouldn't disagree with that. But there are ways that you can stack the odds in your favor. All right. And that is what we're going to discuss today. Um, basically, today we had the FOMC. Uh, we had the interest, interest rate decision along with the Fed statement. And then 30 minutes later, we had Jerome Powell doing a press conference. All right. So if you're watching the charts today, you know, US dollar got hit. It got hit very, very badly um, as soon as that news came out. Okay. Earlier on in the day, we were moving up pretty strongly um, against majority of the pairs, against majority of the major pairs, right? Um, the one I was looking at specifically was the dollar CAD, which you can see right here. Okay. So as you can see on Wednesday, we slowly moved down for the start of the session, the Asia session. And then since then we ran pretty far up. Uh, we went basically from those lows, we moved up 55 pips, which is a decent move, right? Okay. So if, uh, if you follow me and, uh, you see in the trading view chat here once in a while, I will put in my input. Uh, someone did ask me today what I was thinking about this pair specifically, which was perfect because I was actually watching it. And this is the one that I traded. Okay. So basically what I noticed in this pair specifically was that retail sentiment was very, very bullish. And that my friends is not a good sign. Okay. So that is the trick. Basically, if you can read it right. If you can understand how real retail sentiment works and you know how to look for it and what things to actually look for, um, you can use it to trade profitably, especially during uh, high impact news where there's going to be high volatility. Okay. So, um, as you can see, we took out these previous lows, which is exactly where I wanted to take out. Okay. I mentioned it in the chat here that I was looking to take out 1.243. I knew that institutions wanted to take out this level right here at 243. Okay. I mentioned it yesterday and I mentioned it again today. Okay. So how did I know that? Well, if we look at retail sentiment, things you can use are different brokers. They actually offer, um, uh, different things where you can see all their clients, where their positions lie, whether they're uh, net long or net short and actually where those positions positions are, um, where people got in and the majority of where they got in at. Okay. But more importantly, is where their orders are. Okay. So basically where their orders lie is where their stop losses lie, which is where the money is. Okay. So institutions likely are going to be targeting that area. Okay. So I'm going to look at Oanda first, and I'm going to show you that we had nearly 70% of people long on the dollar CAD. And this is just Awanda's clients, right? So earlier today, we were actually 69 point something, uh, nearly 70%. This was updated 31 minutes ago. Uh, but let's see where we're at right now. Yes. So again, retail traders are starting to go long again. Okay. So we're still heavily, heavily net long right now on the dollar CAD with retail traders. So now let's look at IG. Now this is, uh, <laughs> even worse. We have 74.61% on 
of traders net long. Okay. So now that's two brokers that are showing retail traders being net long nearly 70% and then over 70%. Okay. Now we'll come over to CMC. We have 79%, nearly 80% of traders net long. So basically, what is that telling us? That is telling us that all of these retail traders have their money going long and they have stop losses below where price is. Okay. So now how do we determine where their stop losses are? Okay. So I, I don't really know any other broker that does this, but Awanda actually does. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if they offer this to, um, to traders that aren't clients of them, but I do have a live account with them. So I am able to access this. Um, you would have to try it out for yourself. I will link it in the description below, but, um, yeah, check it out. See if you can, um, you may even be able to just open a demo account with them and be able to access it that way. Uh, you'll have to try that out. I, I honestly don't know, but anyway, looking at this here at the dollar CAD earlier in the day, before we took out 1.243, right? We're now sitting well, well below that. We're actually at 1.2408, uh, right? And let's just refresh this quickly. We're going to look at net positions and then we see positions here. And if we can zoom in because we have a lot of traders net long, like we stated back here, right? We can see where all their positions lie. So all those long positions, current price is right here. They're all sitting in a loss right now. They got in as price was moving up today, right? As price was moving up today, or they got in earlier in the week. Uh, who knows? Who knows where they got in? We just know the price where they got in, right? We don't know what day it was. However, we do know that they are long and that they are currently sitting in a loss. All right. We have some people that shorted at the bottom after that news came out, which honestly, that's another thing, another uh, topic to discuss. But after a big move like that, don't take a position. Do not go with the move after it's dropped 60 pips. Please don't do it. Uh, anyway, um, that's for another topic, another day. But now, now that we know all traders are long, let's look at the orders. Okay. So you can see now there are a lot of orders up here. So these are going to be all those long positions because it's above price. This is going to be their, uh, take profits. All right. If they're long, they need to sell to close out those positions. Okay. So now earlier in the day, we had a huge, huge spike at two, four, three. And this was actually there yesterday and Monday. We had nearly, uh, up to this 3.0 mark in orders, sell orders. Okay. At the 1.243. So basically that is telling me all those long positions or a good chunk of them had their stop loss sitting at 1.243. Okay. So they literally had their stop loss just below those lows at 1.243. And that was my target. That is where I wanted price to actually clear. We wanted to take out all those stop losses because that's what institutions do. They were building extra long positions here as price went up today. We didn't clear these highs. So we didn't clear the, this week's highs at all. Trend is still down. So if you were long today, congrats, you were up like 50 pips from the Asian session low. But if you did not take 
profit near these highs. Oh man, I, I honestly feel bad for you because that, that probably really hurt. That probably really hurt. Um, if you don't want to close out, close out your position and you want to actually stay in it, at least take partials before the news comes out. Take partials, move your stop loss to break even, and let news do what it does. All right, because this, anybody that got in here today, they either got stopped out or lost all the money that they accumulated. Okay? And to have your stop loss, like what, I don't even know how much farther we went through that, but we went nearly 30 pips past these lows. So anybody that had less than a 30 pip stop loss beneath these lows, they all got taken out. Okay? So basically, the whole point of this video here is to show you that there are ways to actually um, look at retail sentiment as an advantage to you. And when you see orders sitting in uh, a certain level and you see them heavily net whatever, long, short, whatever the case may be, if you see retail traders going leaning too much to one side and then you see a slew of orders sitting somewhere, more times than not, institutions will send it there. And it doesn't matter what the news is. It could be positive for the US dollar, but they're gonna send it down anyway. They will send it to where the money is, okay? That is almost a guarantee. All right, so as you can see here, we have the US dollar index net long on there, net long on the dollar CAD, net long dollar CAD here. And again, net long on the dollar CAD. Okay, this week they actually reduced their short positions, which is crazy, uh, by 8% and added. 33, nearly 33% this week to long positions. Okay. So looking at all this, I will link all these uh, websites in the description. You could try them out. I don't know, like I said, if the Oanda one is going to work for you and the CMC one either, um, you would need a, an account with them. I know with CMC, you can use a demo account to uh, look at the retail sentiment as well. So if you want to open a demo account with them, you can use them to look at the retail sentiment. Okay. But it, it only does show their clients. It doesn't show all clients, all retail traders, just their clients. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah. So I, I mentioned this in the chat earlier. Um, I don't know who, caught that or who paid attention to what I was saying. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me if people do or not. Uh, but the one person that did ask me, um, yeah, I told them what I thought and turns out I was right today. Uh, I'm not always right. So don't, uh, don't take what I say as uh, scripture because, you know, sometimes things don't always work out. Uh, you just got to go with the flow and know that more times than not, you will be right. So use proper risk management, so on and so forth, and you will come out on top. But, um, yeah, definitely next time news comes out, high impact news, look at retail sentiment, see what it is telling you. If they are t leaning too much to one side, be very, very weary of it going in that direction. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Hope you le learned something um, because this is actually a very, very important topic that I don't know if a lot of traders actually follow or put as much weight as they should on this. Okay. It is a very, very important thing to look at because Institutions need to make their money somehow. We are the little fish swimming with sharks and they're coming for us for our money. They really are. So you got to.
think like them, trade like them. And uh, yeah, that's how majority of the time you will come out on top. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something and I will see you in the next one. Happy trading. Take care. Oh,